Hello everyone, Massive Das here, and this is my final thoughts on Tales from Toy OT, Arrival of the Witch, I'm still not sure how to pronounce that. You would have seen a couple of days ago when the embargo lift, I had some footage off, up of this game, the first 30 minutes, and that I've just used some still screenshots and stuff like this, because even that footage is very similar to this, being a visual novel, that is what this game is, it is, um, from various people that have things like the publisher here in the west is Kemco I believe and that like I said I got a key for this from a key mailer so I'm going to point that out first so I played that um, video a couple of days ago for like half an hour didn't know how long to do and there is a bit of stuff that you can't show so I was like oh am I going to go into that territory and stuff like that but even after that video I continued playing finished the game took a good few hours I did try it on my portal it does look good on the screen so I can see the switch version of this being pretty good on the um, portable on the screen um there is some questionable content is brought up in my video where like the uh, the male character at the start says you know one of the characters is very womanly and there's a rap battle in the game and stuff like that um where the two girls are talking about uh their chest size and stuff like that so it's it has got some questionable uh content i feel visual novels do have that quite often and stuff like that the game has very little choice either there's a few um bits where you can uh, select a few options and dialogue but even it sa it even says under like there's uh, like an asteroid so, so this will not make any you know make any uh, different choices and there's a bit where you go to like lessons and you pick which order you go and it doesn't really make much different stuff like that and there's like four different stories which you do the like prologue one then you I went back to the menu and I was like what's going on here and I went start and then there's the other stories available and that happens there is four stories in and um, there so there's a lot of uh, content there's some extras and stuff like that in like um, well the extra sections got gallery and a few other bits and details that tell you what's going in on in the game and stuff like that I'm um, doing all that like just playing the game and then going in the extras and messing around I got the platinum trophy so it is an easy platinum if that's your sort of thing as well I think there's a PS4 and a PS5 version I played on PS5 that's what I was sent obviously Switch would not have that option there is a physical as well um we can get order uh, direct from um like the publisher and things like that I think it's like 25 quid which I don't think is too bad and that for like a physical Switch game and a physical PS5 game sort of thing it's like I said it is kind of short it took me a, f a few hours to play and uh, stuff like um that and uh, think yeah it's, it's a hard one because this isn't really a genre i played i did want to play more after the half an hour i uh, did on the video but it's, it's a hard one because of the like the nature of the content and stuff like that there is other options like the third high, highest rated game of the year is a visual novel um i got an open critic but that is like 50 quid i believe in digital only where this it's obviously half the price you do have the physical option and that so i feel you're gonna know if you like this game or not without me you know telling you my thoughts um on it um thing it's just it's like you can see in this um uh, like you know with this video of the steals and stuff like that it's like do i like that character art um and st uh, stuff do I like the background images uh, is it like value for money is that too long too short you know like a couple of hours uh thing like do you like trophies like i said it is an easy platinum maybe that is something that can convince you so, like would you play it on the go like on your uh, switch like i i think there's a pc version like that's most probably the version i mostly wouldn't play because it's like uh, not really taking it on the go like I would on the portal on the switch and stuff like that you haven't got you have got achievements on steam but it's not, it doesn't seem quite the same uh, to me but uh, yeah it's it's an odd one like the music's fine the voice acting is in Japanese and you don't get a huge amount of it any like the ma main characters have por um, portraits and stuff like that there's a few times I mentioned it in my video um being like the senior citizens talking to you like there's no voice acting there's no uh, portraits you're just getting the text on the screen it is a little bit jarring and stuff like that it is like i said it feels slightly lower budget than some visual novels that may have been out like 
I've not played it myself, but everyone like raised about that Fate of Morgana game, stuff like that. It's most probably a step down or something like that. But, you know, it was worth playing, something different. I'm always looking at, you know, different stuff to play in different genres. I'm open to most things, so I was definitely open at trying this. And like I said, the code was provided by Keymailer for it. But anyway, I'll be Master Das, and I'll see you again. Mm-hmm.